we have one question taken from surface area volume. Uh, there is a figure given here, and it says that this is a cuboidal metallic block whose dimensions are given length as 15 centimeter, breadth as 10, and height as 5 centimeter, and from which a cylindrical hole is drilled out of it. And we have to find the area of the remaining portion. So for that, you have to visualize this. Like, say, for example, if I drill a hole from here, what do you get here? That from this top and bottom, two circular area, like a area equivalent to two circles have been removed. But more important, that besides this, a new area has come out. And what are the new areas? You'll find that, like you have to imagine, like say you have a one cubical cheese and using a pencil or any cylindrical object, if you pierce a hole into it, what is it? what will happen, these areas which were not actually earlier visible equivalent to the curved surface here will be exposed. So what we can say that in order to find the required surface area, let's say if I find the required surface area, if the required surface area will be first adding the total surface area, right? Total surface area of a cylinder, that is total surface area. Uh, of uh, First, we need to take total surface area of a cuboid. And on which we'll be adding the curved surface area, that is uh, CSA of a cylinder. We'll add the curved surface area of cylinder and from which we'll subtract the area of two circular bases. So that is uh, two multiplied by area of a circle. This is what we need to do in order to find the required surface area. Now, we can start placing these values. You know that the here, one more thing that you have to remember that uh, the height of this portion, as you can see, the height of this cylindrical portion will be equal to that of the height of this cuboid. As you can see, this height over here of the cylinder is same as the height of this cuboid. So this height here, I can take this as h. And as for the radius, so height is 5 and the diameter is 7. So the radius will be 7 over 2. Now, if I place these values, this is total surface area of a cuboid is what? 2 into LB plus BH plus HL plus the curved surface area of cylinder, which is 2 pi RH minus 2 times area of a circle, which is pi R square. So now, in the next step, I will plug in these values. L is how much? Length is 15. So it's 15. Breadth is 10 plus P into H. 10 into 5 plus h which is 5 into l which is 15. Now over here we can uh, take common to reduce the calculation. I can say 2 pi r is common. So we are left with h minus r here. Now rest is uh, 15 into 10 is 150. 10 into 5 is 50 plus 75. And if I replace pi with 22 upon 7 radius, as we know, it is 7 by 2. And then replacing h, h is 5 again, minus the height, which is, uh, sorry, radius, which is 7 by 2. Now, we can reduce something like uh, here 7 and 7 get cancelled, 2 and 2 get cancelled. So with the further working, we see it is 2 multiplied by this will give you 275 plus this is 22 times. If I take LCM over here, it is 10 minus 7. That is 3 over 2. 5 into 2 is 10, 10 minus 7. I can see more calculations that uh, these two can be reduced. And if I multiply, this is how much? 550, right? This is 550. And then this is 33, so it's going to be 583 centimeters square. And that should be the area of this 
required surface area like so from first of all what i can see that uh, the total surface area from the total surface area of a cuboid first i added the area of a curved surface area of cylinder as you know if you scoop out anything a new area is exposed and that in this case it is equal to the curved surface area of cylinder and from which as you can see two circular disc kind of things are removed so we have to subtract the area of two circle and rest we place the value important thing is we must remember that the height of this will be equal to the height of as for the diagram will be the height of the cuboid 